He could either get knocked out with the left hook and uppercut, a right hand, uh, any punch really in my arsenal, he would get slapped with. So just be prepared that he gets slapped. Ryan Garcia is being groomed for greatness. Can he do it as he takes on tougher and tougher competition? Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Listen, Javier Fortuna is a very crafty veteran, but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Garcia by knockout this time around. I'll tell you why, because I recently watched him spar and demolish his sparring partners. His timing, his speed, his power, is just gonna be a little too much for Fortuna. I think it's Ryan's time right now. That's a tough fight for, uh, for Ryan. You know, Fortuna can punch and he can box. But if uh, Ryan can get him in to the later rounds, I can see him, you know, doing some damage and probably squeezing out a victory or a stoppage because Fortuna, he's a front runner. I'd say Ryan Garcia, I think that he, he's he been learning over time. Like, he, he's a, a very young fighter, if you think about it. He's just had really great fights in this very short time um, that he's been, you know, in the limelight. And I think that He's taking his time, he's learning, he's, he's using coaches. He, you don't really see him doing anything crazy outside of the ring, getting in trouble or anything like that. And I think he's on a very good path. So I'm gonna say Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, for no cup. Ryan Garcia, just experience size, you know, at stoppage for sure. Ryan Garcia should be Javier Fortuna. But Javier Fortuna is a good fighter. You can't underestimate him, just that I think Ryan's a little sharper and Javier has a few years on him now in boxing. I like that fight, that's a good fight. Fortuna's a tough kid, but I'm gonna go with Ryan. He's uh, hungrier, he's fresher, and I think that's gonna be, be, Fortuna's been in a lot of wars, but he brings it. But I, I feel like um, Ryan's the first guy and he's gonna win. You better not overlook Fortuna, and, and you know, not saying that Fortuna can win, I'm just saying he can probably make him look bad or have some bad spots in that fight. I know Ryan has a, a habit of looking past some opponents because he's marketing, and promoting other things like a Javante Davis. I like that fight, but don't overlook Javier Fortuna because he has experience. He's been to the top, he's fought and been in the ring with some killers. So he's going. he knows this is last chance too. He knows this is his last chance, he's gonna come ready. So be careful, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's. Don't play with Javier Fortuna because he can, he can make it a tough night for you. I think uh, Javier Fortuna is past his prime. Um, and I just feel like, you know, Ryan should go in there and uh, do his thing. I think he should have a uh, have an easy e easy time with him. Uh, but Javier Fortuna is a little scrappy. He's veteran, but uh, I don't think he has much of a chin. So Ryan should uh, uh, should do well. Ryan Garcia wins because he's hungry and he wants to fight Tank Davis. He can't afford to have a win. It don't look good. He has a lot of things on the table that he must look great at. He can look good, but to get the attention that he needs and the momentum that he needs for his own self, he needs to look great.